And right now, a very quickly developing story about a project that could completely change the face of Frenchtown. Today, dozens of residents were put on notice. A private company wants to dig a gravel pit just north of Frenchtown High School. And excavators could be digging as early as July. The proposed pit location sits here, just north of Frenchtown High School, right behind the school's track and football fields. The pit would be developed on a parcel of private land identified as the Alexander site. Frenchtown School District says the lot sits right next to their main water well, beside the 17 acres they own for future expansion. We sent reporter Montana McLaughlin to Frenchtown to get the latest on this developing story. Montana. As Steve Laurel, now before we get to Frenchtown's reaction, we reached out to the company who wants to build this gravel pit. They're called Nelcon Contractors out of Kalispell. They told us to call the DEQ for comment, and we did, and they said the scientist on this project is out today and tomorrow. So right now, we can't even tell you why this company wants to build this pit in the first place. But we did speak with dozens of community members who say they definitely oppose it, and here's why. Frenchtown School Superintendent Randy Klein walked into work Thursday only to find a message he didn't expect. We're talking about putting in a huge gravel pit right next to the school with gravel trucks coming and going all day. I think right now they picked the worst location possible. About a dozen homes also sit just adjacent to the proposed lot. We knocked on the door of nearly every household down this street and all of the homeowners told us they wanted to learn more before making a comment on camera, but their gut reaction was not in favor. Randy's not on board either. Do I really want student vehicles and our buses competing with gravel trucks running down a road that is already heavily congested. He's concerned a gravel pit will create noise and dust pollution and Randy says the school gets their drinking water from a well right next to the property. We know that in this area there's a really low water level. I've heard that you can strike water after dry after drilling for 10 feet. He's now trying to get the public involved. I know a guy that has a gravel pit that had uh, issues with dust and he ended up having to do a lot of uh, mitigating of uh, the dust problem by getting water trucks and keeping the dust down. Randy's now requesting a public hearing to discuss alternate options, but the DEQ says they need at least 13 adjacent property owners to agree to a hearing before it can happen. And I understand that it's private property, but at the same time, there's a lot of different considerations here. According to the notice, all discussion has to happen before July 9th. The DEQ says they have quick turnaround deadlines, but without public contest, the notice says ground could break as early as July 15th and last for 10 years. And we also asked if there's another possible location to build the pit, but neither Nelcon nor the DEQ had those answers for us today. We're going to try again on Monday. In the meantime, you can find the address to submit a request for public comment on NBCMontana.com. Just click on the link to this article. Reporting live in Missoula, Montana McLaughlin, NBC Montana. Thanks.